and said, it's Lucky Baskar. Mm -hmm. So I want to test luck first. Ah, this dumb luck I don't have. Oh, you're dumb luck you don't have. I'm generally fortunate and blessed, you know, but like... Uh, ah! But like... Okay. Finding like a dollar, no, I won't. No, you don't? That's no. not your vibe? Let's see, Meenakshi. Okay, what do I do with yes, this? Let's see if you can aim and throw in, oh in the cup. Oh, God. Why do we hey, always Meenakshi end up playing? Meenakshi throws in the cup. Yeah, so, so let's... Is it how many she... Do we get like three over. chances? No, I'll just cut and put the ones that work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this game. <laughs> See? Oops. That, that's cut. Okay. She's got three already. She's got three already. Four. So there you go. Lucky Baskar will be a hit in five languages. Woohoo! <laughs> that's how luck goes. <laughs> so first, Lucky Baskar, before I start, Macha. Macha, you're the retro king of India. Mm -hmm. How are you always in a period? Why do all period cinemas come to you first? I've actually begun to now fear uh, directors thinking that if you don't bring something period to DQ, like he might not say yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, is it period? Let's take it to him. Um, I feel like how much I fight these things. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I was trying to fight love stories. Uh, I, I tried to fight retro period films. Uh -huh. But eventually, if there is something really authentic and, and, and beautiful in that story, I can't be like, I don't want to do this because, because it's, it's period. Because it's period, mm -hmm. because a love story. End of the day, we're here to tell great stories. Right? And then that, that's what I love most about cinema. Like, I want to tell the most beautiful stories. So if, uh, if, I, if I'm meant to be uh, period in, for, for most of my career, and uh, if I have to have some filmography with the record of most number of period films, so be it. I think you already do, just say. I think already I do, yeah. 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 So what do you think? Have you you've seen him in other period stuff? Doesn't he look like he walks out of a period, his hair, <laughs> the way he looks, it's just perfect. He's like hair. A, you he's, should be he's, saying he's, this. <laughs> you should be saying he's, this. He's, I think As to why I'm looking like this is it's also <laughs> partly because of him. No, but honestly, I think he's like a cardboard cutout, right? Like how they say, these are the ingredients we need in a in a character that should look like this, should that should be like this, should, that should like just like fit the thing. He fits it all. And I and I think I now understand like working with him on this film and like seeing footage and whatever we you know the scenes we do together. I feel like it's just so easy for him to glide into any character that it is. And I think I think he's blessed to just be able to fit into that retro vibe because it's not everybody's cup of tea. I've also understood that not everybody can suit into that. And he's just blessed with that modern space he's blessed with that retro space and i think very few have that and and i think he's one of those so, so before getting into your film i have to like i'm usually the Thank most you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> i, I, I took all these compliments and i'm sitting there like just, just, just soaking facts. it in <laughs> so usually in life i'm like the most secure human being mm -hmm. but the only thing i'm insecure about is hair mm -hmm. okay and you have a good head of hair you know this is a fixed set head of hair <laughs> <laughs> i love the honesty <laughs> But when I see him, like, usually when, like, women take a long time to get hair, like, I saw him getting his hair done once, I was like, Macha, how do you have so much hair? <laughs> and you're uh, older than I am in some strange yeah. way. I am, yeah. Huh? It's but just a Malayali just, thing. Is it like, it's in a Kerala, thing? you have, like, I don't know, I've seen all the people who are from Kerala have amazing hair. It's in the coconuts, Macha. I think it's, huh? it's just that, Possibly right? Possibly the oil. <laughs> so tell me, how, how, how did Lucky Baskar start? What did, with you? How did Winky land up, speak to you? Uh, What's the I, day zero? I think uh, how it all just panned out together in this one space was, uh, the, I think it was Winky's call to kind of think, I was I was in the sort of list of like, you know, they say the short lists of things, of, of people who might fit the role of Sumati when they were looking in for that. And um, I did a look test and I didn't hear back from them for a month. And I was just like giving up thinking, I think this is not happening, so let me just move on with my life. And it just took that long for them to take that call. I don't know how it happened. So then suddenly, this one day, out of nowhere, I think it was after a month, I get a call from Venki, and I'm in Bombay, and I'm sitting, and he's like, uh, hi, I uh, just wanted to tell you, uh, congratulations, welcome on board. I was like, uh, he Which Venki is this? Yeah, like, uh, he just started <laughs> conversation on that morning. I'm like, congratulating I was just thinking, what is he saying? Like, what is what is he talking about? So it took me like a minute to kind of just understand what was happening. And I was like, oh, you mean Lucky Bhaskar? I was like, yeah, uh, just, just wanted to let you know that uh, you're on board. I was like, 
oh okay <laughs> that's literally how it happened and then the next thing i know we are here doing the puja starting the film in the next week and it just started off like that so yeah. but you know in full sort of praise to her the fact that uh, lucky was what your fourth film fifth film in yeah, telugu yes yeah so and starting out and the first thing uh, in the film like a, a big part of the film is is there in the trailer is there in is that we are playing a married couple with a child and and the child is 6 7 years old and there is no way that meenakshi is old enough to even have a child of that age unless you uh, <laughs> but the fact that she had no qualms about that i thought it was so like just refreshing you know yeah today it's hard to say you don't want a kid you want pia no as in <clears throat> even, even even me for that matter i think i think i started to play dad after i became a dad That's you know, interesting. Yeah. Till then, I was like, okay, maybe I, 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 I was pushing that that little twenty-something-year-old um, or like, uh, not college, but like, single mm. guy mm. role to a to to an extent. Uh, but once once my daughter was born, I was like, okay, now you know it's legit. Like, it's I, legit. Yeah. Like everybody can believe it. Uh, so, and I, no, you know, I don't want to take it away from anybody who's. Everybody wants to. create whatever image they have mm. uh, or they hold on to it and and because I, i i feel like i did the same i love the fact that she believed in 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 the idea of the film and uh, she loved the character of sumati and and she was like so what uh, when she was like you know the, the, but you're playing a mom and there's there's, there's a child and I, i i feel like that's exactly what you said right you yeah, said so yeah. what and uh, there is not a single sequence in this film where i see uh, i mean actually playing sumati with Ritwik as 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 a son as Karthik there's only sequence of them together they kind of enter together or they're interacting together or they're there in the house and it feels so organic and it feels so real and i saw her putting in the effort to bond with him so yeah that 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 takes a lot thank you <laughs> and so this is your you you had you played dad before yeah, you, I have, yeah i have yeah. Yeah, yeah and this is your oldest kid in that sense i don't know i've had i've had older kids you had older yeah, kids yeah. wow yeah. <laughs> clearly this is your first time this playing mom first, yeah, first yeah. time playing mom so Okay, now okay, I had a very funny thing because Adusey was my son first in oh, Bahubali. Yeah. So oh. straight, straight. It was like <laughs> <laughs> that's what I got there first. But you know, historically they've all done that. Like uh, I feel like dads played father to more love. So. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wow, I I, I feel like that that generation of actors came from a school of almost like theater, right? Mm. You play all kinds of roles. You play you you roles. You mm. play. You, you can play a woman. You can play uh, an eight, a seventy, eighty-year-old man. You can play uh, a teenager. You can play anything, and 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 that's the challenge. Yeah. See, like Vinky is somebody in Telugu we know for extreme detailing of characters. Right. Like, uh, okay, not to uh, this is like I'll sound like a cliche Telugu guy, but usually in Telugu there's a largeness to commercial cinema. Sure. Mm-hmm. And that's the beat of cinema that is mostly accepted. But there's a handful of filmmakers that. Make a commercial film. Also have art house sensibilities where detailing of characters is perfect. You see production design on the film; it's yeah. perfect. You don't see anything that's off character. And Vinky is one such. And earlier you spoke about the production design of the film and how much of detail it was. So, what are the finicky things of Vinky, and how does he start? I, I think this I relate to huh? completely. Okay. I've always felt uh, you can tell very. Uh, believable real logic based stories uh, and and believable characters which uh, it's almost like as red art house in, in uh, a lot of in, mainstream, <laughs> mainstream cinema yeah, yeah. Uh, when you go into that level of detailing of of real life mm-hmm. uh, a portrayal of real life uh, but at the same time i feel like you can make that commercial uh, you can tell it uh, not a larger than life way but you can mount it in a certain way where there is scale there is entertainment there is Uh, I'm saying extraordinary things can happen to ordinary people, yeah. uh, and I feel this film is so much of that, so much of extraordinary things happening to this one ordinary common man, man ordinary yeah. man and his family, yeah. Right? Yeah. ordinary people in that sense. Uh, but I think the, I think the genius of Venki, I'm glad he's not here, <laughs> uh, so I can praise him, uh, is that he seems to get the pulse of of the people in this film. and and there is a there's a whole variety of characters there's a whole spectrum of characters and it's not like everybody speaks venki's voice mm. it's not yeah. that everybody speaks his language uh there is enough detailing where each person seems their own uh, if somebody is of authority then they are of authority if if somebody is is uh, of a 
somebody who's failed his 10th grade and he will obviously speak that kind of a language. Uh, and I love that Venki is able to uh, write those. There's, there'll be days that I'm fighting with him about some uh, random thing and then, I, and then he'll give me the scene and I'll read it and I'll be like, oh, I can't fight with you because uh -huh. this scene is so you, good. You can still write this. Mm. Like, I mean, your, your views on life or something I might argue with or debate with you on. But like when you give me a scene, uh, I feel like it is so organic and it's so real. In fact, the biggest fights I've had with Venki uh, on the film is post shoot mm. uh, is an edit huh. because he obviously has a time limitation uh, mm. and a runtime limitation in his head. Right. And I'm I'm like, how can you take the scene away? It's so beautiful. It's mm. so real. It's huh. so organic. Uh, and you know, like, isn't it isn't it hurting you to like trim this and 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 sort of lose the essence of it or something? And and he's like, no, sir. I, ha I have a larger story to tell, mm. and I can't really pick and choose. So I, I want everything to be there, but like, this is the best. This way how to you get yeah, it. and. But it's been such a long time since I fought uh, with a director to lengthen a film. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always fighting to, to reduce. Reduce. Yeah. Like, this is almost three hours. Bring it down. Uh -huh. Cut 10 minutes. Cut 15 minutes. And that is, I think, as producers, yeah, we yeah, have, that have that sense in our so. head, right? And this, but this is the first film where I'm like, I think it can afford another five minutes. Mm -hmm. You can give it another 10 minutes. Let the film breathe. It, ha it, it, it can afford it because it's, it's so organic. So I know a little bit about him. Every time he gets a role, he somewhere lives that a little bit, mm -hmm. and a part of that role becomes him, mm -hmm. like during the period of that film. Yeah. Like, and it happened over time. Like I've seen him during Kota. There is a certain aggression in the human body, in the body itself. <laughs> I've seen him through Lucky Basker. I've seen him now with Kanta. Yeah. In some ways, like, yeah. what is it with you? Does a part of that character stick with you, or am I am I right or wrong? First, I you guess it's always there, playing in the back of your head. Uh -huh. right? like, and and if I think if you're on a certain look or your certain hair or beard or whatever, like I think that I think energy of that person sticks there, with you. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Did, did some parts of Sumati continue being with you? No, absolutely. The major part of uh, Sumati being that she's a mother. That's something that I obviously don't have any yeah. uh, real life experience with. So, uh, I, I really had to kind of uh, dig deep into that aspect of my character that I was playing. But apart from that, I think um, I'm, I'm a complete director's actor. So, I give into the process of what he wants me to do and uh, how he wants me to be. Because he has the whole, you know, the, the whole movie in his head. He knows what's happening. I probably don't know how I, you know, would see that. So, and also we don't shoot in a linear way. So, I don't know yeah. what's happening in that. So, I think I trust him fully with the way he's like, you know what, I think she's going to be in this space now. So, I don't think too much. <laughs>